you come in peace, you look for and see the good in others, we train in mutual respect. Aloha e malama pono, mahale nu aloha. I believe that what you do physically can also improve your perspective mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And so by starting each day with a simple exercise, you can set the tone for the core of your being to make it through that day. Also, I've had people ask, well, what is it that we're going to be training? They know I've done a number of things, so they'll ask. There absolutely are no limitations. My favorite story that I share with people when they ask me about this has to do with something everyone has heard before. When you give someone a fish, they eat for a day. When you teach them how to fish, they eat for a lifetime. Well, our Hawaiian ancestors took that one step further because they built fish ponds. They stacked up large stones so that small fish could escape predators and swim into the lagoon behind those rocks. And then they would grow larger and then they would not be able to leave. But by building a fish pond, a family could ensure that their great great grandchildren that they might never meet would still be able to have fish, would still be able to be sustained. So the other side of that is if they grew up in the fish pond, the baby fish would also be free to escape outside the fish pond. So it's a, a whole cycle. And hope you've enjoyed the hat. And now you can enjoy my lovely haircut since all the barber shops are closed. You can see I cut my own hair, which I kind of did anyway before. And fortunately, I am a proud graduate of Ernie and Bert's House of Hair Design. You can find them on Sesame Street. And they'll teach you how to have a, a beautiful haircut like this, all right? <laughs> okay. And finally, people have asked, what is it that we're training? They know I've done a number of things, and so they want to know, you know, is it Kaju Kembo and Kempo? Is it Judo and Jiu Jitsu? Is it Jeet Kune Do and related systems of Filipino martial arts and Muay Thai and so forth? Is it self-defense, combatives, defensive tactics, and that type of thing? Is it Hawaiian Lua and healing arts like Lomi Lomi and Laau Lapaau? And my answer is, Yes, yes, yes. When the founders of Judo and Jiu Jitsu developed their art, Professor Jigoro Kano drew from multiple sources to create Judo. Professor Henry Okazaki drew from many cultures and many systems to create Kodenkan Danzenru Jiu Jitsu. Sijo Adriano Emperado and his friends pulled from a number of martial arts to improve their self-defense skills in creating Kaju Kembo. Bruce Lee and his students searched the ends of the earth in continuing to develop their art to develop Jeet Kune Do to what it became. With self-defense, pioneers like Tony Blauer, and if you go back before that, you go World War II and Fairbairn and Sykes and all of the other wonderful people that have tried to help save professional lives. It doesn't matter where the information comes from, it matters if it works on a practical level. And especially when you get into other cultures with Russian Sambo and Sistema, with Israeli Krav Maga. All around the world, professional warriors from the dawn of time have continually sought to sharpen the sword to improve what they do. And of course, from our own cultural perspective, with the Lua and with our core principle of Aloha, which guides everything that we're doing, being here in Hawaii, that cultural context is where we come from. So in that sense, that is also absolutely the cornerstone of what we're doing and the principles and concepts that, that guide Hawaiian culture very much in everything that, that I do and that I share. 
So the founders of those many arts didn't hold that and neither will I. I'm the sum of the family members that raised me, the friends that entrusted their friendship to me, the students who allowed me to teach them, and all the many teachers who were kind enough to pass on their art to me. That's a huge responsibility and I have to carry all of that forward. So what am I giving you? I'm giving you all that I am for as long as I can until this is over and we all find a better world emerging at the end of it. So that's the answer to that question that several people asked yesterday. What are we going to be learning? Well, we're going to be learning all we can. And that's two-way street, so I'm more than happy to learn from each and every one of you. And if there's particular things that you would like me to cover, I'll do my best to do so. Because we're all in this together, so no matter who you are or where you are, we are all one family. We are all one Ohana. We come in peace. We look for and see the good in others. We train in mutual respect. Mahalo.